My fellow Americans, I have been thinking about the current situation as a conflict resolution professional. And these are five quick points which I would urge you to consider regardless of who you supported in the election. This will hopefully help you heal and see there are opportunities for finding common ground. First of all, if someone is giving you a slogan, which politicians often do, ask them if they know what it means and if you know what it means. And this applies to both the left and the right. In the case of politicians on the right, they often say socialism is going to come and get you. Ask them exactly what that means. Do they know what it means? Uh, do you know what it means? And the same is true with terms like capitalism or corporate America, which are thrown by the left. You need to unpack them and you'll find actually that there are elements of both which you may actually like. And that will help you to understand where they're coming from and where you might find some common ground. Secondly, everyone has a right to their opinion, but they do not have a right to their own facts. This is a paraphrase of a quotation from the late Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan. Uh, and it has been used many times, but it has much more salience now because we have seen an assault on facts from either side of the political spectrum. And it's very important to recognize whether it is science, whether it is any kind of other research that's being done, that you try to understand that facts cannot be changed. You have to always seek them. Sometimes they're hidden, but you can't have alternative facts. You can have alternative opinions because sometimes facts are not clear enough, but facts must be sought and there will always be convergence on facts. So try to always see where those facts are and try to see what are the ways in which we can evaluate those facts. So for example, courts are a mechanism by which you can evaluate facts. And if there have been repeated decisions made by courts, especially if they've been made by judiciary, uh, which is across the political spectrum, then that should give you some confidence. Thirdly, just because people repeat things over and over again, it doesn't make them true. And politicians on both sides of the political spectrum do this. So you have to always ask yourself, in fact, question people. If they're repeating something many times, are they really insulting your intelligence? because you should be able to understand something once and you should be able to challenge and question it. And they may be repeating it because they're using a psychological trick to try and make you believe something through this repeated mechanism that's often used in totalitarian regimes as well. Again, both on the left and the right. Don't do moral equivalence between events. This is very easy to do. Human beings, we like to make comparisons. So for example, don't compare the BLM riots to the Capitol riots. Both had their high points and low points in terms of the energy. Uh, violence was wrong in both. Uh, I think there were sincere emotions in both. Uh, in some cases, the BLM movement was motivated as a response to certain killings that happened under suspicious circumstances. There were high emotions in, on the parts of the families of the the, the police officers, as well as high emotions on the part of the families of the victims. Uh, and that led to an organic movement, which sadly became violent, and it should be the violence should be condemned. But that's very different from the capital riots, which were motivated by a repeat, repeated effort to try and, and uh, delegitimize an election, which is not the same thing. You know, the election didn't lead to the death of any individual. And so you cannot have moral equivalence between the two. Both cases, violence was wrong, but you cannot have moral equivalence. And if you understand that calmly, then you will try to see where the distinctions are and how we can find middle ground. Fifth, if people ask you to distrust government, which is a natural thing to do, there are many aspects of government which should be distrusted. But consider for a moment, what would be your life without a government? Human beings, human societies evolved to have governments because we needed them. Once we were hunters and gatherers, we couldn't have upscaled our societies, had technological development without some form of governance. And so ask yourself, if you didn't have government, what would be the, the outcome? You may not have roads, you may not have healthcare, you may not have a lot of things which you take for granted. 
So when people come and say, well, everyone in Washington is stealing what you've got and so on, ask yourself, these are people who are actually helping to work and provide those services. Sometimes they're not doing the full complete job that they should. So definitely challenge them on that, but try not to, to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I think if you have this kind of a five point view, you will see that things will come together and hopefully America can heal. But there are plenty of people who are trying to monetize on keeping you distrust each other. So you need to focus on these five points so you do not end up falling into their trap. And whenever in doubt, remind yourself, as human beings, we should try to give each other the benefit of the doubt. So when in doubt, whenever you start to get really angry, try to give each other the benefit of the doubt. So I hope my dear fellow Americans, these simple points will help you in healing. All my best wishes and peace.